good morning guys uh, I'm sorry I haven't been up to date on the vlogs lately I've been busy also with school as well so finally today I have the time to kind of catch you guys up within a week of what happened uh, to the car nothing I mean there's only one thing that's new so far and that's pretty much uh, my lights were changed so not the actual lights of the headlights but the housing like the color of the background and stuff the reflectors the projector rings are all different colors let me just show you real quick like how that looks so if you guys can hear me at all uh pretty much what i did was i took out this housing and i brought it to one of my friends and he was able to pop off the lens you know by baking it so the seals will be soft and will able to come off like the whole plastic part is able to come off and what happened is basically he painted all the reflectors around the side markers and then the same thing with the high beams the the DRL high beams all for black and then leave this red so I think it looks really good it makes it like a really mean aggressive look of the car it definitely looks much better than what it was before so and in terms of lighting uh, so lighting is still the same I still have 6000K HID low beams and then for the side markers there's still switchbacks from Dio Dynamics. Uh, really good quality, I highly recommend it. And for the DRL or high beam it's still the same like the white LEDs. Uh, I sacrificed by not having high beams just because of that but it's fine because I never use it anyways. But that's within one week that's pretty much all the update for the car uh, everything else is still the same there is something sort of big happening though uh, that's gonna probably take some probably sometime this month for it to happen some of you guys know some of my close friends know what's gonna happen I'm super excited for it just because it's been way too long for me to not do it and finally I'm doing it this month so just stay tuned for that again I do apologize I have not been having the time to pick up the camera and just you know talk to you guys and uh, show you guys what's going on and stuff but otherwise everything else is still the same I do want to do however a video I don't know if I can do it today but to do a video where I'm just driving with a first-person view with a GoPro on my head and just showing how like my car is not like straight mobbing but just I, I guess it is straight mobbing because I always been babying the car in the camera you know not really showing almost this full potential I guess so today or tomorrow I'm gonna be doing that so I can actually show you guys that what is this car capable of in terms of power so I don't know if I told you guys but in terms of power this car is stage 2 plus it is pro tuned by Church Automotives in Long Beach. In terms of horsepower, it's 275 horsepower at 321 torque. So I know horsepower is not as high. I mean, mainly because of the boltons that I have on, but that will change right after I'm finished with the exterior of this car. That was my main focus, like I said before, is for this to be a show car. I want this to be as clean as possible. Then do some interior work, which shouldn't take too much then I'm hopping back on performance. First gear is really high in terms of uh, boost. It goes to 19, then second gear goes to maybe 17, then 15, and so, you know, it's gradually going down and down, which I guess it's a normal thing for Subarus and Evos for it to go down in PSI, but like, for example, in FDs or uh, RB25 motors and stuff like that, if they're boosted, then it's a solid, boost like level meaning it's straight set for 20 psi no matter what gear and so on and so on so uh that's just a little i guess reminder of what this car is pushing and uh yeah guys it's that for sure will change but just probably sometime in the future so i'm over at james's house we're actually gonna head to garage life this car's gonna get some methanol injection so we're heading out there right now to get installed but uh yeah guys it actually won't be the day that i was talking about for my car that i'll do some like you know pulls and stuff for you i'll do that some other day but today this is going to be mainly about the rx7 
So this car now has a welded diff. A few, I believe a week ago, we brought it into Garage Life and DK welded the diff because of something that happened to the diff originally. So now it does have a welded diff. Yes, it does skid while you're trying to turn. So it kind of does lock up. And we just changed the rotors and brakes. So for some reason, the brakes were kind of like grabbing onto the rotor. I think it's because one of the screws on top of the bracket of the caliper uh, it pretty much like worn out so for some reason like the top part of the caliper is like grabbing harder to the rotor so I think it wore down by now but we're gonna fix that eventually and then that'll be cool for the brakes to be all fully functional and good but yeah it's a welded diff now it's gonna be ready for like drifting and I, really, I think he's gonna go to Willow Springs pretty soon I'm not exactly sure but it'll be ready for drift really really soon so James just bought his helmet and should be good for drifting
Alright guys, it is the next day. I am home right now, but basically what happened was that day me and James went with his FD to uh, not Garage Life, but we went to I believe it's FD Motorsports. It's run by Abel. Uh, if you guys know if you're within, you know, like SoCal, Ontario area, it's a, I guess a pretty famous shop, OG shop for all rotaries. And we went there because DK, the owner of Garage Life, is going to be drifting his FD RX-7 soon. I um, believe it's next Saturday, there's an event out in Willow Springs, so he's going to go and drift his car and he was pretty much dyno tuning his car at Able Shop FD Motorsports. So um, pretty much his car is ready for drifting. Uh, James's car it's in the process of drifting or in the process of getting ready to drift. Uh, that's kind of why we were just at the two shops. I didn't record me in Garage Life just because we were uh, you know the light was out and we were outside so there wasn't really any light to film. But pretty much with his car right now, James's car has methanol injection, water meth, so it's able to run cooler yet have more power and it's pretty much shoots right into the Gretti elbow intake. That's pretty much what happened yesterday. So today's video is going to be actually me and James and Janine, we're going to go out. We're actually going to go to Willow Springs and uh, thanks to my buddy James for driving us. But we're going to go out there and pretty much uh, see like a drift event. And I, I think they're practicing for the big event that's coming up next weekend, next Saturday. But uh, we're just gonna go pretty much enjoy our day and watch some people drift. Let's get some sort of ideas for James and like what he needs to do in terms of like different corners that he should drift and whatnot. Because he will be going to the same track to practice out there. So it's kind of like a good thing to kind of, for him to like, I guess jot down notes in his head to be like, okay, this is the turn that I should start drifting, blah, blah, blah. So uh, yeah, that'll be today's event. And so again, it'll be like a two days in one kind of a vlog. So it'll be interesting and hope you guys enjoy. so that's a wrap for today's video uh, like I said it's like a two-in-one kind of a video splitting between DK's car on the dyno and then James's car uh, installing water meth injection so it'll run cooler but more power and then for today today's video the reason why we went to Willow Springs is because um, DK's you know DK's car he's gonna be in a competition next Sunday. I know I mentioned this earlier in the video, but he will be competing with like few other drifters. I think maybe starting eight or nine o'clock on Sunday. So we're just trying to get like a idea, I guess, of like how the track is. Uh, given that, especially if it was me and James's first time going there, obviously DK's been there before. But uh, just to see like the whole layout and how everything is and how it is to drift around like the corners and stuff out there. So uh, it was pretty cool, it was a nice time going out there uh, in the rain of course. But uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, and in terms of updates on my car, that's coming up pretty soon. Something that i always been wanting to do, somewhat big on the car, like it's, it should be happening this month, I'm not completely sure, but I will keep you guys updated about that. One more thing I do want to point out though is, uh, so DK's car was on the dyno, he was pushing 350 horsepower. Uh, and that is 
kind of sort of like a conservative tune because the motor can do more but at the same time you saying the motor is like sort of old so it's already pushing what it can handle um, but I believe it's also doing maybe 15 pounds or so on boost not really too sure but that is the rate that he's going for right now uh, should be good for you know just for button willow or for balcony I believe in Willow Springs so yeah guys that's the last update I wanted to mention otherwise I'll catch you guys later I'll keep you guys up as always see ya